The Steven Factor has been brought to you part by Capital. What have I been doing this shit, man? Let's get on to the show. <laughs> What's up everyone, this is your street, Mr. Steven, aka The Legend, and my pronouns are he, him, and his, and welcome to The Steven Factor. Um, happy Super Bowl Eve, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have a nice Saturday, if you are low key, or you're in a high key, and yes folks, Super Bowl Sunday is 24 hours away. To a big game, the rematch to remember it is the Chiefs versus the Niners. Um, I hope everything will be go swell on this wonderful special occasion. Um, on this tonight's episode, I want to do it a something a little different here, and I know some of you are very concerned about what is really happening. Uh, around this music world, the football world, or it could be in between. And it's called The Conspiracy Theories of Taylor Swift. Now, just want to let you know, ladies and gentlemen, I am not the Swifty, but I will definitely going to say a lot. And I mean a lot, a lot, a lot to say about the Taylor Swift, about the Chiefs, also the predictions of the game. But um, I really want to say something about the conspiracy theories about Taylor Swift. Now, let's go travel back um, somewhere in 2023 of the summer when uh, Kelsey and Swift decided to um, have a little bit of friendship moment. But during on the football season, everything will be a Swift media because Taylor Swift is on the booth. With their mom, Donna Kelsey, also known as Mama Kelsey. And as really known about this, um, the Chiefs won like 13 games. Um, Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift are holding hands and they show a, a new clothing merchandise. Uh, also pops up. Um, the tickets are went skyrocketing. And everything is like... My mind tells me what the hell was going on. Um, and um, I really don't know I had to say this because that uh, this is a, um, a very bizarre case about what Taylor Swift has been doing. Now some people been criticizing Taylor Swift and, and, and they said you ruined football and now the right wing uh, Republicans claim that they want to pr- promote uh, Joseph Biden while running the president campaign and, and some of that. Um, first of all, um, Taylor Swift didn't do nothing wrong, okay? Um, she is a pop star. And she's just trying to come here for some love and support to Travis Kelsey and the Chiefs. And and people are still talking about Taylor Swift all day. Both good times and bad. And some Swifty fans decide to do their own conspiracy theories if Taylor Swift will might going to make it for 13 hours from Tokyo to Las Vegas and even do some calculation between the Niners that they make 13 and the other 13 hours and this and that I can't remember of oh yeah just to remind you I'm in a different location I'm at the Ritz so that's why I'm just trying to step out of the house for a while trying to catch some vitamin D but the weather is like completely overcast now it's cloudy and this is gonna be, um, I think the winter um, winter storm will be coming somewhere around on Monday through Tuesday morning. From Monday night to Tuesday morning. So that's when the weather's been changing. 
But right now, it is smile. People going outside. It's an early spring, so I hope you enjoy yourself. But anyways, let's get back to the conspiracy theories of Taylor Swift again. Now, the Swifties want to do the little calculations, and she's been um, um, thinking about um, what they've been complaining when when she might gonna make it to 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 from Tokyo to Las Vegas. But I think that I think um, Taylor Swift will might gonna make it in time, and um, I hope it will be no hesitate whatsoever. Also, they might double check. Um, the, the planes to see what's going on before it will be okay and everything. So I hope everything will be a piece of cake. So you know how it goes. And that's it. That's completely it. Um, we also, I also I want to talking about, I want to do uh, respect for the Chiefs. I think Patrick Mahomes, um, Travis Kelsey, and the team will doing okay and also uh Brock Padre and Kiddo were also doing okay as well too. But here's my prediction here, okay? If the Chiefs will might gonna win it will be a, a outstanding our outstanding merchandise coming along. But again, hear me out. If the Chiefs will win, there's got to be some merchandise. And it's got to be a lot of merchandise. Taylor Swift will mind coming again on a, on the NFL season opener until she wraps it up with an Eras tour. Um, there's got to be some new merchandise coming along, some new jerseys, some new action figures, some new tickets price if Taylor Swift is welcome to promote the NFL. But also, some people think, like, do you think the NFL is scripted? Because it's like you've been watching WWE all over again. Or you think it is not because she's just coming here for love and support. Well, here's my answer. The NFL is completely unscripted. And here's why. Like I said, Taylor Swift is nothing wrong with it. She just come here for support with Travis Kelsey and the Chiefs. Uh, she also um, want to support all the Kelsey family, but also Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift will might have some big plans together. Valentine's Day is just around the corner. Also, Ash Wednesday, the beginning of the Lent, and also um, there's gonna be some propose as well too. Now I don't want to give it no details. I'm not going to do any gossip because this is not TMZ. All right. Or should I say, SMZ, the Swifty Mile Zone, all right? And I don't want to be a part of it either. So that will be my prediction. If the Chiefs will win, there's got to be some skyrocketing merchandise. And hopefully, if my prediction is correct, I will do that on a future show. But if not, I think the Niners will might going to win for the sixth championship. I think that Prudy will definitely go and get a chance. And we'll definitely see how it goes. Now they oh they always want to criticize Taylor Swift. And and I do love Taylor Swift. I respect her. I listen to some of the musics. But like I said, if you want to criticizing Taylor Swift again, this is gonna be the problem. And all the Baltimore Raven fans need to be ashamed of themselves because, again, Taylor Swift has nothing to do with it. That's all I can say. That's all I can say. That's all it matters. And that is a bottom line. And you should probably need to leave Taylor Swift alone. She, she needs a break. There's so many conspiracy theories around. If she want to do a campaign with Joseph Biden, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen whatsoever. Even they still complain about uh, um, when she might going to make it or not. She won't going to make it. Just trust me. 
Trust me, she's going to make it and she will be. And hopefully she'll be tired and drinks a lot of coffee and everything will be energized. That is the most important thing. You know how it goes. And it happens to everybody. And that's it. And that is the bottom line. Alright folks, that's wraps it up on this edition on the Steven Factor. If you want to learn more about this channel, please hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to see my latest videos. And also the like button as well. This is your stream, Mr. Steven saying, Todo va la familia. And thank you for watching the Steven Factor. One love.